merge tool uh, coaching number 11. So what's happening? How do we get to really, um, really enjoy and love each other and have fun? Really, you know, we are most of the time busy with discussing and dealing with bills, with uh, children, with uh, the everyday problems in life, family, and all that. And that's like 95% of the time. What happens is you are left with 5% of the time. And usually there is 5% of the time where you're left without all those things then what's happening is that um, you are... Sorry, there was a mosquito. Uh, those 5% of the time, you're just trying to recuperate and, uh, uh, and, and, and you don't even have time to have fun. So what's happening, that's the, the key for you to really... Um, it, it's like those power moments. We, we all go through things uh, like you're working all year and then you have those like this vacation and you take that vacation and that recharges you and you know makes it worth it to go back to work till the next vacation so in a way it's the same thing what do you have to do you um, have to go on a little vacation with your wife and you have to calculate uh, obviously sometimes you have to do an emergency vacation we gotta go do something together. Now, doing something together, that means you're disconnected from everything, from the kids, from the bills, from every, the family. So, you go, and, you know, sometimes we think we need one week, two weeks, not necessarily. Three days can be amazing recharge. Three days of fun and love and laughing and being together. That's really the moments where you reconnect. Almost the moment you become intimate or you meaning that it's a time where you're alone with each other again and that's where the true intimacy comes uh, when 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 we are home or even in bed and we're together and the mind is busy with the bills and, and the money and the next doctor appointment and the kids and then you cannot be intimate really because you're not just alone with each other you have to be uh, be able to be alone with each other again completely invested in the other so so you have to have a few times during the year where you recharge and that recharge is the fun moment the love trip you need to really go wild kosher wild but go wild so you know go and uh, I actually made a whole list of things you can do to have fun together whether it's something connected with sports something connected with music something connected with dancing something connected with um, hiking, uh, camping, something you can be together and you have fun, you enjoy, because those moments you can open up and share and you're actually having fun time together. Life is not fun, it's full of work and seriousness. So of course, most of our marriage end up to be something that is not connected to marriage. It's, I mean, it, it is because you're, you're, working through all those stuff to reach a certain uh, level in your life of, of, of achievement and the family, all that. But in terms of your own marriage, you're really going to um, achieve climax when you use all those recharging moments. Um, and, and sometimes because we don't do those charging thing, we don't, we, the, 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 it burns out, the couple burns out. They, you don't find each other anymore. You're not an, an, you don't have fun with each other anymore. You don't love each other. There's no energy. There's no sparks. And uh, that's why sometimes only people who stay strong together, then when the kids leave and they are 50 or 60 years old, they're, they're together and they and they and that's when they have actually full-time fun almost. almost. Um, um, but not that you have to wait till you are 50 years old when you or 60 years old when you retire to finally have fun together and enjoy each other. No, that's ridiculous. You have, you have to use that during your uh, marriage too. So, um, maybe I'll post in the, um, in the comment, I'm going to post um, more on the top. We'll see. I'll post the list of things 
you can have fun and uh, you're welcome to share all the things that you have fun with but really um, have uh, having fun together is almost uh, primordial you need it it's necessary if if you don't have that you're gonna burn out uh, and and you're not gonna have the energy and the happiness and the spark you know being alive so think uh, strongly like really reflect on that that having fun together just you and your wife is like crucial for your for your marriage meditate on that and do it if you don't do it plan it already once a month let's go on three day vacation uh, whatever retreat uh, weekend retreat you use Shabbos Friday Shabbos Sunday or once a week you go on a date night we already spoke about that already but really try to find those recharging moments and once a year go for one week at least or at least one week together alone without the kids and uh, really have a, a unique thing together that you discover together sharing together the idea of finding something to do together that you're both interested in and then you share things like when you when you got engaged what was the excitement some it was someone completely new you didn't know about and she had her own opinion own opinion about the world you have your own opinion about the world but then okay now you know each other that okay now it's boring oh but if you go to the museum or you go to the zoo uh, or whatever place and together discover something new then you start sharing again together new things opinions and feelings just like when you were dating at the beginning and then your sparks reawaken because you discover in the other its own perspective and its own unique way how to look at things and experience things so that's really what we're talking about that's that's what enables you to go back to the self to the to the to the intimacy to the unique part of yourself and we need to see the unique part of the other in order to really desire love them and look up at them so good luck on the having fun make sure you do it